Hi everyone, Alex here. Welcome to our HVAC series. In this video, we're going to explore our building. So we're going to open our architectural model. We're going to take a look at the 3D views, so the floor plans, the elevations, the levels. We're going to open the structural model just to get a general feel of what our building looks like and get ready for our HVAC modeling. Let's get started. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. Okay, so under OneDrive, I have a folder called Projects, and I'm gonna create a new subfolder called um, 001, and that's the number of my project. And now I'm gonna create a subfolder called BIM, and that's where I'm gonna store all my Revit models and Navisworks models and all that. And I'm gonna have another folder, maybe let's say CA for construction administration. And then probably another folder called docs for documents. And now under BIM, I'm gonna create my architectural or my structural Revit files. So I've called them 001 architectural and 001 structural. And I'm gonna open Revit 2020, okay, right here. Now let's go ahead and open our architectural model to explore it. So I navigate to my project number. Under BIM, I open the architectural model. Notice that none of these are enabled. So I'm gonna just open. And let's see, we have an entry level. We have a furniture plan. I'm actually gonna delete this furniture plan. I'm gonna rename this as level one, floor plan. I'm gonna name this one level two floor plan. This one level three floor plan. Let's take a look, this is level one. This is level two. This is level three. So we have our roof plan. And we also have a site plan. I'm gonna change the address of this project. So I'm gonna go to manage. Here where it says location. I'm gonna go ahead and internet mapping service. I'm gonna select Miami, Florida. I'm gonna zoom in. And this is the area that I'm studying right here. So I'm gonna take this address, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna paste it here. Notice that it gives me the latitude and the longitude. So I'm gonna hit okay. And now I'm gonna rename my RCPs, my reflected ceiling plan. So it's gonna be level one. RCP, this is level two RCP, this is level three RCP. The roof doesn't have an RCP, but let's just leave it in there just in case we need it in the future for a mechanical penthouse or something, okay? We can also go to the default 3D view right here in the doghouse. And then we can see that the project has some curtain walls and some skylights and we have a good idea of how the building looks like. Let me go back to my floor plan for a little bit. And I'm gonna open up my south elevation. And I'm gonna rename this levels. It's gonna be level one. I don't wanna rename the corresponding views because I already renamed them. I'm gonna do level two. Level three. I'm gonna leave the roof as roof and the parapet as parapet. Now I can come here to manage and project information. And on the project information, let's say the organization name is BIM it up. Let's say the description is uh, training and coaching. The building name is the BIM it up education center. The author is Alex Sol. As far as energy settings, we're gonna deal with this later especially under HVAC. But for now, let's just say that our analysis mode is gonna be, we're gonna use both the conceptual masses, like for Autodesk Insight or something similar, and the actual building element for more detailed analysis. The ground plane is gonna be level one. Notice that you can select different levels here case you have like a garage or something like that. The project phase is gonna be a demolition phase because I wanna tear down that uh, 
that ugly supermarket that is there. But uh, for now, let's just deal with new construction. We're gonna leave everything else as is, and here under other options, you can specify some other parameters like the percentage glazing, skylights, the building type, in this case, a school or a university. Notice that you have other choices here office, parking garage, etc. In this case, we're gonna leave school or university for HVAC system. For now, we're gonna leave this, and if we need to change in the future, we will. Here you can specify your outdoor air information. And here under material thermal properties, you can go under your conceptual types and change the exterior walls, whether it's lightweight construction or high mass construction, your mass roof, typical insulation, can be high insulation, low insulation. We're just gonna cancel out of here and hit okay. Now, as far as the project issue date, it says it's gonna be 2024, 08, 14. Project status is going to be 100% construction documents. Client name is going to be you guys. For the project address, you cannot just type it here. You have to go in here and then put your address right there. Project name can be, for example, the BIM it up education campus. And the project number is 001. We're done here and now we can save and close. Let's now take a quick look at our structural model. Let's go ahead and go to our entry level here. And just to be consistent with the architectural model, let's rename our levels here. So level one, in this case, we do want to rename. Notice that the view got renamed. So level two, yes, and level three, and we keep the roof as roof. We can see in our 3D view that we have our slabs, we have our footings or pile caps. They go a little deep. There we go, so that's pretty good. And then we have our openings, our structural openings for the skylights. But funny enough, we have the openings for this stair shaft and for the long stairs, but we don't have the openings for this one. So we're gonna have to create them later. Anyway, so we're good with structure. Let's just uh, save. Just one backup is okay. Let's close out of here. 